Welcome back you guys. Today we're going to be working on another shoe custom. It's going to be a little different than what you've seen before. So I'm going to be doing um, some stencil iron-ons onto a pair of van, uh, checkered vans. I've already done this before in the past on a smaller pair and a different color. So it's just a casual shoe. It's a nice casual shoe, but I just like to um, make something casual more different, if that makes sense. So um, I'm running behind schedule, at least for these shoes. So I got to do this one and the mock-up video I made last week, I had to make some edits to that and come up with a different design for the customer. And I just got the shoes yesterday, so I got to work on those after I finish these ones. But at the end of the video, I'm going to have a little message talking about more of what's going to be coming to the channel. A more precise schedule of my videos coming up. I'll get that to the end, but anyways, let's just hurry up and get to the video. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. But let's get to the customs. So my work area is a little messy, but try to ignore it. I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I do. So this is the shoe that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be putting them on the, these parts, the colored parts. And then I already have some cut out, but I have to make like about 50 or so more. Let's put these right here. This is pretty useful. I got this off of Amazon for about, I think it was a little less than $200. I would suggest check Amazon before you go to like a, a arts and crafts store. All right, so you need a roll of some reflective vinyl. I ordered mine when I ordered the, uh, the Cricut machine, so it came together. So I need it just about the size of this. I made a little extra last time I did it, so it's got to be exactly the right amount. Fuck. Hold on. Put this to the side. That's in the way. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Give me one second. Hold on. I would recommend getting this because it is so much easier than cutting it with pen, uh, not a pencil, a fucking with a pair of scissors. Don't want to cut too much just because I want to make it so you uh, make it worth every penny, I guess. You don't want to waste anything like I did right here. Fucking dumbass. What the hell, man? It's almost like it's not fucking even. Sorry, guys. I just like to get it exactly on the lines. You gotta be fucking kidding. There we go. This one's coming off much easier than last time. So best to just go from the corner and then just start slowly peeling back. Because, oh boy. Or that will happen. So just put it on there and just, I say give it a few taps, just so it has somewhere to, just so it sticks. And then put some pressure on. I gotta put like 156 of these on here. 
I gotta do it all individually too, man. All right, y'all, here's what they look like. It's the back. Kind of messed up on this one. I doubled the pattern while I was dozing off last uh, the other night. Stayed up late doing these because I took a break and I burned myself a couple times. I always like mixing it up and doing different things. That's what makes this fun and I enjoy doing this. But the important thing that I wanted to let you guys know is I'm gonna be dropping two videos, two videos a week now. I'm going to be dropping Mondays and on Saturdays. So Mondays are gonna be shoe related art. And then Saturdays are gonna be, I'm gonna be painting and then I'm gonna be drawing. I'm gonna be swapping out between those weeks. So drop a shoe custom and then later on, whenever, uh, just until like I get another order, I'd say. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of different shoe mock-ups. Not many artists do that. Some people have an idea, but they can't really, they don't know what to do on the shoe because it's a, certain shoes only have like certain amount of workspaces on there. It's just a whole bunch of different stuff, like, uh, like this. And even if adult version of Air Forces, toe box is only this much this for us the whole thing you know it's just different stuff they may feel like is this gonna be too much for this certain shoe is uh is gonna be enough space on here can i add this as well so i just love doing that where even if nobody asks me to do it i'm gonna do it because someone random maybe like three months from now has an idea of a shoe custom and then they stumble upon my channel and they see they see it maybe a different shoe but maybe same design then i could work around them and i always just show them everything so i just do the designs i come up with like four different designs three three four or five whichever usually if it's like mock-ups where it's just random i'll probably do three or like three it's like a cheap one um uh, expensive one and then you know, a decent price range. Whereas if it's a, a shoe that they know they want me to do, it's usually at four to five. So for the first couple months for my drawing, I'm gonna be mostly doing uh, anatomy sketches because I need to work on that. And my customs are involved with a lot of characters and I'm really bad at faces and hands especially. And then the paintings, it's gonna help me with painting on the shoes, obviously. But I'm excited I get to be more consistent with my art and I get to show you guys more of than just customs. I get to increase my artistic skills and I get to give you guys better content and products. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, share it with friends or family, and I'll see y'all in the next art project.